Okay. Today we are going to deal about the uh, sequences in Oracle. Sequences will help you to generate some uh, sequential number of, of uh, primary key values. So that means if you want to generate some sequence number in any place, instead of you, the system need to be generated. In that place, we will use the sequences. We can create some sequence and we will use that sequence in that place. So that is called like a to generate a surrogate key values or candidate key values. Surrogate key in the sense. Suppose there is some employee table. So here manually you are inserting the EMP number here. So you surrogate key in the sense there is a primary call primary key column in this that column value need to be generated automatically by the system that is called a surrogate key or a candidate key. Okay. okay. So how will you generate the sequence number? So you know like a, if you use a row number it will provide the some sequence number. 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, like that, it will provide the some sequence number. So it is like a already having some value for that record. If you want to display some any sequence number, you will use that. So in our case, we need to generate the sequence number while inserting the data itself. Okay, in that case, we will use the sequence. How can we use? So I'm going to create some sequence. Create. Now I have created some sequence like a sample like a S1. So how will you? You created the sequence. You you how to use that sequence that is also need to be know, right? Yes. So the sequence will call like this. So sequence name data next value. So when you create the sequence, the sequence need to be initialized, the sequence need to be activated. So see, here the sequences, if you create any sequence that will be stored in, a, so let's start from user underscore sequences. name equal to S1. Now this is the sequence number. Here it is showing minimum value is this one. Maximum value is this. So that sequence number is going to start from one. So this up to this members you can able to generate in between any number of uh, sequences. Okay, increment by one. So for one uh, Number to another number, it is one. It is going to work like that. So cache is 20. One minute. Huh? Okay, first, so the sequences will be stored in this place, user underscore sequences. Okay, so what will happen? The sequence is invalid or invalid. So first, how can we identify like the sequence is in valid mode or invalid? So everything will be stored in the user underscore objects. Okay. So where object underscore name equal to so now the sequence is in this the status is in valid but uh, so if it is the valid in the case we need to use that sequence right so to activate the sequence first uh, we need to activate the sequence the sequence is created now the sequence is not activated 
okay. to activate the sequence we need to use the sequence name data next map now the sequence is activated okay okay if we want to use again if we use the again this the statement to activate that to uh, to call that we'll use the same <coughs> so we don't have anything like uh, to activate this to run this not like that so to activate and call this we need to use first okay. The next sequence map. need to be initialized, right? So it's next map sequence See, name data next, name next, map. next map that need to be work like this. So see here, it is increasing one by one. If I execute one, it is it, it getting increase one by one. It, it getting providing the incremental numbers. OK, so. Now we are in the seventh uh, sequence number is got generated. So in which place we are like, uh, uh, what are the value is generated the re very recently, what the sequence number is generated from the your sequence need to be understand. For that, we will use the curve well, current value. So this will help you to understand like uh, what is the sequence number is current sequence number is generated. What the recent number is. Uh, generated from the that particular sequence like with the uh, sequence so suppose yeah suppose like a, you are using for the to generate the account number so the account the, the banker need to be verified like a, what is the sequence number is recently generated what is the account number is recently generated that need to be verified in that case so simply if you call this sequence name that in the curve you will get the very recent uh, account number is generated. Okay. Got it. So to activate that, it will help you to use the sequence and dot next well to call that to invoke the sequence. Invoke call are both same. To invoke the sequence, we will use the sequence name data next well. Okay. okay. For this, we have some syntax need to be follow here. Actually, I haven't. Uh, Followed any sequence here, uh, any anything here. It default it creates some uh, sequence. The system will uh, maintain some default sequence. See, if you want to create the sequence, you need to follow this syntax. Create sequence, sequence name. This is a schema name is optional. So if you want to create a sequence into any other place, you need to be use the sequence name if you are if you want to create your own schema no need to mention the schema name okay so create sequence sequence name and you need to pass this all parameters so increment by so one sequence number to another sequence number if you want to generate uh, increment by one in the sense it will generate the sequence number one two three four five like if you if you increase the like two it will generate even numbers. OK, it will use the start with the two and the increment by two in the sense it will generate the even numbers. Start with one increment by two in the sense it will generate all odd numbers. Got it. So if you want to use those type of operations for this, it will help you to uh, use this uh, parameters. The sequence parameters is increment by hell increment by is helping to generate the sequence number. How many values I need to increase? Okay. Okay. That is for that. Start with start with help you from the sequence need to start from which number. Okay. So if you want to use that, you will use the start with one or start with the, the mobile number should be if you want to generate the mobile number. The mobile number should be nine double nine four nine. 0, 0, 0, 0, something like the so earlier we have the sequence like a double nine four nine in the sense eight tail nine eight four nine is in the sense eight tail nine eight double six also eight tail we have that way so now the sequence number the mobile number we generated the different way we don't have special logic for that now all the mobile numbers is verified by the try from there though like what are the free mobile numbers having that uh, those people can pick and uh, assign to us okay now we don't have a uh, take the uh, this uh, bank account number that will uh, provide the accurate result accurate understand for you 
So account number should be like a 15 digits, starting with a three, starting with a uh, five, something like that. The account number should be, uh, SBI account numbers will be like that only, five and a three. Okay, so in that case, I, I can mention like the account number three zero 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 one. It, it won't like all the zeros will, it, it won't provide any fancy numbers to any one. So mostly there is a some logic for the check some logic, something like there is a some logic for that. Okay. So, but the account number should be uh, increment by one only. Increment by one only. The first six, seven digits will be common. The remaining digits will be using the sequence. Yes. Got it? Go so we want to use to generate all the uh, numbers with uh, using our sequence. The, there is a pattern, right? 9849 is the mobile number. In that case, 9849000, you will start with 0001. Okay. Then it will uh, use the sequence uh, with your string with uh, like this. Let's see, we'll uh, do this some practice here. So earlier we are using the sequence like that. Now the sequence number start with the 9866 is our number. Uh, our uh, mobile number need to be generated and L pad. L pad of. S1 data sequence number two. next one. S1 data next one. So is S1 is my sequence and I am going to call and I am going to add like a, I need to maintain the six digits. Okay. So I need to maintain the six digits. So if it is not there, the six digits. So how many numbers are there? less than six numbers? I need to append with the zero zero here. Now I created the sequence here. So 9866 0, 0, 0, 1. So earlier my sequence number is a C. What the sequence number I have like here? 10. So now, now what the sequence is going to generate? 11. Got it? Now the sequence number is going to change like this. If it reads 99, it will generate like a 90 Got it? Okay. It will help you to generate the sequence number like this in the real time. So we cannot use directly like this. There may be a chance to generate like that also. Got it? Got it. There may be a, some pattern. You need to append that pattern and you need to uh, provide some sequence number for that. Like, like this. Okay. Got it? Got it? So this is help you to generate the sequence number. Nothing will help you here. Like a, for this sequence number will help you to generate the one by one uh, incremental values. To generate any sequence number will go with the sequences. Okay, we need to understand all the parameters here. Start with the help you to from which position, which number I am going to start the uh, sequence. That need to mention here. Start with max val. So max. Max value will help you to how to how many digits, how many integer value I need to generate. So in our case, how many digits I need to provide here? Up to six nines. Up to six nines I need to provide. So I can provide the maximum value is like this. Got it? So in your case, maximum value, minimum value. Minimum value is a zero or a one. You need to mention like that. Yes. Minimum is one. Yes. Start with the one. Yes. Start with the not less than with the minimum value. Okay. The minimum value will be equal to the start with or greater than that. Mm -hmm. okay. You are going to start the position at the uh, tenth position, or you mention like a minimum value is ten. It is not possible. Yes. So if you can able to put the start with and the minimum value is same, it is accepting. Yes. Okay, we will see the examples hmm? one by one. No need to worry. So okay, minimum value will help you do in that place. Maximum value to reach the how many how many integers I need to generate that you can put the upper bound limit. This is the lower bound limit. Okay. What we have like a 
minimum value no okay maximum value no maximum value so maximum value in the sense if you put the number it will reach that number and stop the sequence from there if you haven't mentioned anything it will go with the no maximum value then up to 42 nines it will generate the numbers 42 9999 like a 42 nines up to that number that will generate minimum value if you haven't mentioned anything it will generate it will treat like as a minimum value is one no minimum in the sense it, it is also treat like the same okay if you mention particularly the minimum value is 10 it will treat like the minimum value is 10 okay so cycle cycle will help you to like uh, now i am going to create the sequence like a Eight. I can I have written the examples also here. Wait. Yeah, everything I have written actually. No, um, creating some sequence like a create a employee ID sequence in employee table. I am going to use the employee ID sequence. So now I have created that. So now I am going to see like a what is the so this is not that it is in sequence does not exist. So okay, uh, first I haven't. Uh, uh, invoke the I haven't activated my sequence and I am going to run the sequence here. So what it is showing sequence employee ID the underscore sequence car value is not at a defined in this section. So that need to be defined for that reason. I am going to say if you create the sequence that sequence need to be activated like this. Now that now you can call this you will get the current value is one. OK, and now what is happening here? Like uh, if you see the sequence like. Uh, I haven't mentioned any parameter. We already seen about this. So we haven't uh, mentioned anything here. S1 and. See in employee, this is the sequence name. Not this. We need to use the this night uh, user underscore sequence. Okay, see here. We haven't mentioned any parameter here. So the minimum value it took like a one. Maximum value it took like a maximum nine so like a thirty-eight here. Okay, this is the eleven G. So it is taking like a uh, 38 digits increment by one cycle n order flag n cash t 20 last number is 21 so now if you see this what the number we have in this you can able to understand 17 what it is showing last number in the sense 21 okay so 21. why it is showing i will uh, help you uh, that cash we have right uh, because of that cash it is showing the that number because of the cache it, it is like so now we'll use some parameters here to understand the we'll use some parameters i'm going to drop the sequence and i'm going to create the sequence with the one where i'm going to start here start with this 100 increment by three Okay, start with the 100 increment by 3. Now you observe the what will happen here. I'm going to in uh, like a uh, use the current value. It is not a defined. So I'm, I'm going to define here. 
So where I need to so now the sequence is started with the hundred because I have mentioned here my sequence need to be start with the hundred. Okay, now we'll see what will happen the if I use the next value. So earlier we are using like one by one, right? Now I am going to increase the three here. Okay, now it got increased with the hundred to one not three. Now it will go with the one not six. Got it? So this is the help of the increment by value. So then so cashy, no cashy. Cash is help you to uh, like uh, if you are generating some sequence number for uh, uh, account opening or uh, uh, any customer is came to you and you are going to generate some customer ID for that. Case. In that case, <coughs> if suddenly like a uh, uh, hundred people are came to you to generate the uh, to open the account numbers or uh, to open the bank accounts in that case. For each and every one, if you execute the sequence uh, one time and uh, need to uh, get the value from the sequence and insert the value into that, it will take some time, right? To calling the sequence. Instead of that, you call like uh, uh, 20 numbers at the single fetch and store into the some memory. And uh, store into the some memory. So. Here you can mean you can mention like a uh, this is like a sequence. Okay, here like a human being like a uh, as if suddenly like uh, all the people came to you and uh, asking to generate the account number for all the like your manager will ask you to generate the account number as a, as early as possible. Okay, in that case, to generate for each and every time that sequence need to be called one time, that will uh, take some time. Okay, instead of generating like a one number individually, generate some group of sequence number and put it into some memory area. That is like a, a how the system having RAM. In that we have some HGA system global area memory HGA. We can put that memory. We can that uh, we can put that uh, 20 sequence number in that uh, memory and uh, someone is came to open like a group of uh, 10 people or something like need to pick that uh, say account number and provide to you. Okay. Got it. Okay. So it will uh, put the some uh, buffer uh, memory like this SGA. So. This is like a SGA in this. So instead of calling from the each each and every time like a, a one uh, one time put a, like a, if you put the cache size is 20 here it is showing like a cache size is a 20. So it will generate the 20 sequence number and put it into this SGA okay. like a one two three how you mentioned like increment by three in the sense it will generate uh, uh, three six nine like that if you put the increment by one in the sense it will generate starting with, the starting with the start with the and the end with the 20 numbers up to 20 numbers it will generate okay now based on increment by correct so now it will generate the uh, data Okay, so now it will generate the 20 sequence number and put it into this SGA. If we use the cache sizes, how much you are going to mention that, that uh, cache, that is sequence number you are going to put it into some SGA. That is, uh, that is area where your records going to process. Okay, so you can put the, all the sequence number, like 20 sequence number in that place and you can use that. So if you use like 10 numbers, what about the remaining 10 numbers? You already call the sequence number from the 20. sequence, right? 20 numbers you called. 
but it will uh, uh, whatever the sequence number you used that will be used like remaining will be uh, uh, I mean uh, written to the memory okay, that will uh, be, sequence that will, that will be rolled back that will be rolled back automatically that will be rolled back automatically so see we use the sequence number 21 right now we call the sequence up to 17 still also thing like a 20 cache size 20 last number is 21 okay now still it you are in a 70 18 19 20 now you see like a, the sequence get changed or not so if it reach the 21 now if it reach the 21 now now the last number is going to change here got it you you like a, if you use the all the sequence number or uh, not you won't bother about that so if you require like it may require like a, sometimes you need to work as a fast you need to uh, insert the values as very fast in that case it will help you to provide the sequence number uh, like from the memory instead of fetching from the uh, sequence every time it will take some time there is input output operation you are uh, trying to hit the query and uh, fetching the result from the sequence and providing the result to you it will take some time so if you call the sequence the user will call the sequence the sequence will come to uh, you it will provide the results okay instead of that simply if you uh, if you require it right, like a uh, one sequence number so it will pick that and uh, uh, use it no need to call here because the already called uh, operation is already happened in memory. in memory now the data in the memory not in the this okay, okay? okay. so by using that the cache will help you to improve the performance okay. so because to reduce the input output operations so instead of calling like a multiple times a sequence each and every time so we can call the uh, like a for few sequence number like using cache if you use the cache size 10 for uh, for if you execute the one time the sequence will call like at uh, 10 values and pick the data into sga okay and we will use that from that memory how can we call the 10 numbers if it's 10 numbers? You are not calling like 10 numbers. The cache memory will help you to, if you put the cache size, the sequence will automatically call 10 times and store that data into that SGA. You are calling the sequence is one time only. So now you, you executed the sequence like at 20 times, but the sequence is not going to call, uh, pick the data from actual sequence. It, it, it picking the data from SGA. SGA. Okay. That is the help of the cache. What is the use of a cycle? Cycle will help you to move from one place to another place, right? For us, from us. For us. In the similar way, sequence uh, cycle will help you to repeat the the cycle, the cycle will rotate, the tire will rotate, right? So if uh, your position, like you are in some next position, if it reach to again that position, that the tire is going to rotate every time. Looping. If you want to do the do the looping operation, so now you started with the, some retail domain, like uh, take these pencils or bar one, uh, any anything like a billing counter. So you will start with the customer uh, today's transaction uh, is one number of the like if someone is came like uh, like you are purchasing something like so you will mention like uh, for each and every counter there may be a uh, like uh, what you can say the sequence number start with uh, one item one item two item three item ten so you like uh, the invoice will generate like item one item two item ten. If someone came to the same counter, 
then again like the counter uh, uh, sequence number is repeated from the 11 or 1 1 1 right so these are all uh, different, different, different the, the customer is different for that reason you are going to put some sequence number is a cycle operation so if you use the commit or if you close the transaction then you are uh, uh, sequence number need to be start with, start with one. one something like a, we can put some operations at the back end okay, okay. <clears throat> so in this case where we are now cycle so what is the use, how to use the cycle we will see now we are going to start with one increment by one maximum value i am going to mention here max value is 130 i am going to put here okay now i am going to drop and create the sequence The sequence is dropped. Now I have created the sequence and I am going to execute this. Start with one and the current value is 100. See, the sequence is called like 106, 109, 112, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. Now it become like a 30. Now what will happen now? So the cycle will repeat again from 100. So it is saying sequence employee. OK, I okay. use the uh, cycle, no cycle here. So now I am going to see if I use the uh, like maximum limit. If you were a uh, sequence is reached the maximum limit, it, it is going to display this type of error. So exceeds the maximum value cannot be uh, cannot be initiated from now onwards. Got it? So to avoid that, we'll uh, use like, a, uh, again, I'm going to drop the sequence. I'm going to drop the sequence. I created it and I'm going to call like a 100, not 3, 124, 127. Now it reached the 130. See, if I execute now, I use the cache. Now the, now it came to the one. Why? So I haven't mentioned the minimum value here. So if I haven't mentioned anything about the minimum value, the sequence will start with the, so it will treat like as a minimum is a one. See about the sequence here. So we'll uh, see here the sequence is created we haven't mentioned anything so where is this start, start with here uh, object name not with this in this right we need to use this sequences see here minimum value is one maximum value is 130 in Increment by three. So start with the very start with value. There is no start with value here. You really need to be there. Okay. There is no value here. If you mention like start with the sequence will start with the from that position. Okay. Any doubt here? Okay. Shall we stop here about sequence? No, like any, no, no other things here. Okay. How to use the sequence in a real time? So suppose like uh, you are uh, trying to insert the data into EMP table. So insert into EMP. So select star from EMP. You can make it like a okay. Select star from EMP. Now we have like a 14 records here. Now I need to insert the data. So if someone is joined to the company, the, the employee ID won't display, I won't, the employee ID won't written by you. The employee ID is generated by HR and uh, written by the HR. This is office purpose only. In some places, you will, dis, you will see some information like that. This is for office, office use. Okay, in that case, you will provide the all the details. 
what is your designation what is your employee name so what is your manager and all those things i had a uh, joining date uh, salary how much commission is uh, which department you are going to join these are all you can able to fill because you have already information with you without employee number you don't have a employee, employee number the employee number will get generated when you join to the company then okay. it automatically generated by the company not by you okay. in that case how will you generate the sequence number the employee need to be generated right yeah. so i i am going to take the data where row num equal to 1 I'm going to. I'm taking some insert statement. Insert statement. So here we are going to hard code the value here, right? Now I'm going to. I'm going to use the employee ID dot sequence way. All right. I'm going to use this. next one so you are passing you are all the employee information except employee number you are not passing your employee number here just you are calling some sequence number next one so this is going to insert the data here so see what what the output you are going to see so now the data is inserted with the what is this current sequence of we have that uh, employee number with that employee number that data got inserted okay so if you insert any number of times it will uh, try to insert the data using the sequence number yes. okay so there is a, some application like uh, there may be a, a hr having some uh, front end application hr will uh, provide the all the employee information except uh, employee, uh, employee employee number okay after providing this all details the employee number get generated and pro it will show to on the screen like uh, this is the employee id for uh, shiva this is the employee id for ashok like that then the account number will capture from the hr and will uh, return by the your form correct so in the real time we will uh, use the sequence number dot like this wherever you are going to generate some surrogate key values we will use this sequence in this place okay okay so this is the sequence use so if anything required we will see about that later uh, if we have any doubt please ask me now this is called surrogate key no the the sequence number need to be generated by system that must be a primary key value okay so the sequence usually the sequence will generate the primary key value it won't repeat any value yes. until uh, that uh, have cycle okay so if you have cycle then only you will get some duplicate value duplicate numbers okay yeah. if you don't have a cycle it will always generate uh, some uh, primary key values so it will generate only primary key values it won't uh, repeat any duplicate values here and the null value it null also it won't allow and the sequence will start with one not with null hmm? so cache is help you to see um in that so this is the sequence you created the sequence in the database the sequence need to be hit by you hit by you in the sense you are calling the sequence okay so if someone is joined in the company and you are going to insert the uh, him in, uh, like his information into the company in that case you need the some employee id okay you call the sequence number sequence data next one so in that case if the sequence will call from you like you hit the query and is going to fetch the data from actual sequence actual sequence that is like a, a sequence underscore employee id data next one okay now if you are like get like one time like a hundred people is came to join like on one day 
in that case you like you need to execute that sequence like a hundred times correct so if you execute the sequence that the sequence uh, hit to the actual uh, sequence the query will hit to the actual sequence and fetch the data from that sequence it will take like a, you are passing like input output operation 100 times here you are fetching the data from sequence 100 hits you are trying to fetch the data 100 times from the sequence instead of that you can pass like one time you you can hit one time and fetch the group of sequence numbers group of sequence number if you mention that cache size is 20 it will fetch the 20 numbers if you mention like 100 the cache memory the size how many you you are, you are mentioning like how much size in the cache that many numbers you are going to fetch under in in one fetch you are going to fetch that many sequence values 100 numbers 100 cache 100 with 100 times those 100 numbers so if you mention like a hundred, that sequence will call one time. It fetch the hundred values and store into the HGA. That is called a memory area. It like put the, the it will store in the RAM. Yes, it will store into the RAM, just like I say RAM. So SQL will process all the statement into this memory only HGA. Okay, instead of calling like multiple times the sequence call one time and fetch that group of sequence number and put it into that SGA and you can use that whenever you are required. So if you haven't used the, all the sequences, if you use only few in that, the remaining sequence will be rolled back. No need to worry about that. Can I see one mistake? Only one. It will work like I say, only one. You no need to alter always. So you can define your business. So maybe sometimes you will get like a hundreds. In that case, you, you will understand the, the, how the business is going to buy tomorrow. When you are starting some business, the, the business is today will be very less only. Maybe in the future it may increase, right? So you need to be, if you are starting some business, the business need to be understand like up to 10 years. Then you can start the business. You want to think about only for few, uh, present. You need to think about future. Long run process you need to think about, right? In the similar way, you need to think about that and need to decide the things like uh, cache I need to put 10 or cache I need to put 1, cache I need to put uh, how much. Got it? Okay, we are going to stop these about sequence. Okay, now we 